Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Melissa. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make compound butter. I've been seeing it around recently and thought, hmm, I have never had compound butter. I should try and make some. So in today's video, I'm showing you how. So I've got a few of my favorite herbs and spices and this big old loaf of Amish butter. I don't know if you can call it a loaf, but it sure looks like one. And we're just going to take a cup and a half of that and chop it up and put it into a bowl. And I wanted to make compound butter because I love butter and I also love steak and I like bread and I like mashed potatoes and all of those things are significantly yummier when you add butter. <laughs> so we've got my favorite herbs here. I've got some sage and some thyme. This thyme I bought was kind of dusty or sandy so I went to go rinse it off. And now I'm just pulling the leaves off of the little stems and we don't want any of those stems into our butter. And we're just gonna chop it up pretty good and then we're gonna take our sage and do the same thing. And once we are done chopping, we should have about one third cup total of herbs to add to our butter. And next I used my hand mixer to kind of blend up the butter a little bit. It was a little too cold for this step, so you can just skip right on to adding the herbs and using a spoon or a spatula to mix it all together. So I'm just using kind of a chopping motion, like cutting into the butter, and then I'm going to add my one third cup of herbs. And then I'm going to add a little bit of salt. I'm adding about, I don't know, just a couple shakes, maybe half a teaspoon. But if your butter is already salted, you don't need to add any butter. And then one teaspoon of garlic powder. And we're just going to stir this till well combined. And once all our herbs and spices are evenly mixed into the butter, we're going to take some saran wrap and roll this out into a log. And once we're done rolling that out, we're gonna place it in a Ziploc bag and put it into the refrigerator. The Ziploc bag is just another layer of protection so that it does not absorb any of the aromas from your fridge. And we're just gonna let this sit in there for a couple hours and let all these yummy flavors absorb into the butter. All right, so here is some bread that I made. There will be a link down below to this recipe. It was a really quick and easy, simple, only four ingredients, no need artisan bread. I hope you guys get a chance to try that because it was perfect with this butter. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe video. If you've ever made compound butter before, what uh, herbs and spices did you add? I'd love to know. All right, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share this one with your friends. And I will see you guys in the next video.